Hello there, and welcome back to another video. Today, we will playing. We will be playing Simple Sandbox One. Bruh. <laughs> Bro, what the? Wait, where'd he go? Oh, he's hiding behind the that thing. Hmm. By the way, this sounds different. Sounds a little better. And this is not even in the second game. And of course there's this. The one shot, one kill gun, the AWP. Before it came along, this used to be OP. One shot, one kill, and that's just two shot, one kill, I guess. And then there's this, which takes forever to reload. And there's this. Ooh, it fires faster. You know what? That's why I hardly get kills in this in the second game because it's so slow. But this is fast. Oh my gosh. Wow. Forgot about that. And this reloads for every time you, you shot it. And of course there's this. <laughs> and there's this which is called the Omni Gun, which as you saw earlier turns into like a person to an animal. Sheeps, chickens, and pigs. Let's see what this guy turns in this time. A pig. Just like the pig in Simple Sandbox 2, and the sheep and the chicken, actually. He was just dabbing. Yeah, so tw so twenty seventeen. This used to be in the. I mean, I guess it still is. The um, what is that? The desert city, the basically the original map. And now they have it in the second game. Huh, I've never seen a a turret glitch like that. That is so weird. Now watch this. If you leave it like that, I'll make a separate video about this. I'll make a separate video with the music.
But yeah, this I like the songs on this. It's pretty good. It looks pretty cool too. It it cost gems, I think. And that was like ridiculously expensive coins. And minigun was gems too. The only thing that makes this gun worth it in the second game is the um, the magazine size. But in the first game, this gun is great. The fire rate is amazing. You have the chance to throw three sticks of diamond at before the first one explodes. And all the skins get, uh, for the AWP get changed to this one for some reason. So here's the basic furniture section, which is basically the same, everything else. I mean, everything is in here just about, except for this VCR that's not in the second game. I don't even think this DVD player is in the second game. Oh, I forgot it's sitting on the toilet. And yeah, that's what my skin looks like. It's weird how they forgot to put the um the coloring like right here. That is weird. And there are actual billboards. And a hot dog stand. And, um, yeah, those are all the names of the songs in the upper right, left hand corner, I think. And there's the mini vending machine. And, of course, this one, which is the same size. And, um, various road signs. These open? No, okay. Oh, I guess the spider sees. <clears throat> Amogus. Nope, can't even do it anymore. For those who know, you know that one video with Obedium the newbie, but I'm surprised I could do that because now I cannot. But yeah, this trash can. <laughs> Amogus. <laughs> um, yeah, next. Doors. This safe door is pretty cool. Surprising to put in the second game. Pretty good graphics on it. Or texture, I mean. Oh, it could be used as like a, a, like a SWAT riot shield. Because it's impervious to bullets, except for explosives, of course. And here's the original garage door. It was gray. And the safe. The poor texture. And builds. Yep, those are all in the second game. With the exception of this one, I think. And maybe, like, a couple of those. Like, right about, like, here. Hmm. I wonder why they did not add this one to the second game. Drug store. Pawn shop. And of course there's the video store in the Desert City map. 
the original skyscraper, which, by the way, um, that building there used to be the tallest building in the game, I think, or at least in this map. And of course, in the second game, it's next to the very off-brand Empire State Building. Let's see some briefcases that aren't in the second game. And there's this, if you recognize him from my maps. Of course, this red flag. And here's a fence. They should add, they should add more fences. And here's a road, which... Oh, this road. Yeah. This is the, um... The road that you can do the RTP, RPG spam. You can also do it with one of the blocks, which we'll get to later. It's also kind of hard to do, so... I've only done it like five times my whole life. Because you gotta do it just perfectly. Huh, that's weird. Gotta be a little bit higher than that because I gotta be able to get on it. As you can see, the controls for movement are kind of weird. Ah, crap. See, it's kind of hard to do. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna pause it until I get it right. Bro, what the heck? Alright, this might be... Oh, for... Well, at any rate, you're supposed to... Kind of like, sends you up. And then you can spam RPG. And even though it reloads, you can keep firing and like... Wow, that was cool. You can't do any more, I guess. Anyways, here's a bridge. And of course, the exit signs draw are in the second game. A wheelbarrow you can sit in, I think. Although my feet stick out. That's weird. <laughs> oh. Looks like you figured it out. Hmm. And he was never heard from, seen or heard from again. There are some surprisingly 3D props like this. Surprising added to the second game because they're very detailed. And there are these, which are actually pretty useful for making things. Hmm. The new 2017 Polygonda.
Bruh, what? Okay, fine. Really? There. What? That guy still stands up. That sucks. <laughs> this is pretty good for windows this fire being on its side. It's pretty annoying. So yeah, this was not a bad window actually because you can see through it. Here's the metal detector. Pretty nice details. It's too bad they didn't add the second game. And the American flag. All of the flags randomly to Spain, which is kind of odd. And there's this glass table. I used it a lot for banks for some reason. Maybe because it's right next to money. Yeah, it's too bad they don't have this in the second game because this is a cool prop. And the bank teller window. And the safety deposit boxes. And this, this is pretty cool. And there's this, which I don't know why they didn't add in the second game, but maybe they did, I don't know. I don't think they did. I used to like to put it in here. And there's this elevator which was honestly not that good. Because look, it does this and it's uneven. Also kind of hard to build in this game. Second game, it's much easier to build. <clears throat> I 
a giant box. One thing I used to do with this is pretend it was like a tornado. Let me try it again. Well, it used to be more fun back in the day. <laughs> okay, that was fun. This was a bed I always used for making a house. And of course, a throne. Very popular prop. Oh yes, these things. Watch and learn. This also works in simple sandbox too. Why is it not working? There it is. That also works with beds, I think. Uh, which bed? Is it this one? Well, let's find out. Well... Not really.
These should all be familiar to you, or at least most of these. This one, maybe not so much. And this should be flat. Now it's like coming out like this. It's kind of weird. This one costs money, so some people probably didn't have it. Oh, yes, the, escal the escalator prop. This is another one for... Launching things. Bruh. That's not how it's supposed to work. There it is. That's how it's done. Actually, wait a minute. I just thought of something. Let's see if the boat flies. I think it does. I, it's just been a while since I played this game. <laughs> Kinda. Anyway, there are arcade machines, just like in the second game. This is different colors. I think it looks better in this game. If you remember this guy, you're a legend. Honestly, I don't think I made a video about him, so probably no one knows you remember him. It would be nice if they add a single bill like this instead of the stack. Like they have the second game, but whatever. In the second game, these are tiny. In this game, they're huge. That's probably why they look terrible. And they're samurai. Kind of obscure, not really good props.
these rows were used all the time for making maps. All the time. Pretty useful roads. This just number instrument kind of useless. And these for well for building buildings of course and kind of for killing because they spawn in you or you spawn in, in them I guess. These fences weren't bad just mm. Forgot how tiny this is. Now, the fun part the blocks, which made building a lot more fun. I think, yeah, look at this. She meant that's if I put one down. This is pretty fun. I like this building mechanic they had in this game. I think it also works for big blocks. I think. Not exact. Yeah, it's kind of weird how the big blocks work. You have to maintain consistency. These white ones were very popular. I use them all the time along with... These black ones and these glass. I think even these sometimes. Oh, and definitely the wood. And this. And this. And really all these, actually. And one thing you can do with this. I don't remember how this works, but I think it's just. Kind of forgot how this works, but I think it's. Uh, I was trying to do something. Okay, let me try again. Yep, I guess they removed this. Used to be able, used to be able to go like, or go like this and fling up in the air. And I think it was never RPG spam. But I guess they fixed that. But other than that, that's pretty much the whole game. Oh, forgot one thing. <laughs> Vehicles. I take that back. So these are like some of the last things they added in the game. Before they kind of discontinued it. Although it does get its yearly update like in June. And just had it. Beforehand you couldn't make a server. A multiplayer server. But now you can. And um. These buses were pretty cool looking. Very 3D. And of course there was a lot of these like round here sort of get to do a stupid chest things just case things just like in the other game. Ah, I hate those. There's, I never got that Humvee. It's been like seven years. Just don't have it. Oh yeah, back when the Ecto One actually had the Ghostbusters logo on it. This is one of the VIP things. You got a bunch of money. You got this 
limousine or uh, Lamborghini limousine you got a black private jet sort of thing and removal of ads which honestly was the nicest thing this truck is pretty cool looking I don't really get what it is but it's cool looking nonetheless and there's this sort of Maybe they're airport trucks. That could be it. Oh, this I think got terrible steering along with this. Like you could easily get stuck on like your side with this car. Like it's fast, but is it worth it? Oh yes, in my orange Lamborghini. Yeah, I got this in the case and it was really cool to use. As for that red thing that you just saw on the side, I think that's like some role playing thing, but it's kind of like a glitch, I think. I don't know. This is also in the second game. Actually, most of these are in the second game, but for some reason, PDs like, for instance, these here are not in the second game. Oh, and this one. This was a very interesting one. I don't know what it is, what its purpose is, but it looks cool. And you can even sort of land a helicopter or two, maybe even on top of it. Oh, it's kind of hard to. It doesn't go very fast. But kind of a cool thing, I guess, you can do about it or with it is this. Oh, well, it used to be much cooler. It used to like fly away. Yeah. Yeah, that is weird. There it is. And there are these like Lamborghinis, which are pretty nice. All the colors weren't very good, in my opinion. And if you remember this, this is from Metro City. <laughs> yeah. I should make a second video of that. That would make me a lot of money. Hmm. Now, I mean a lot, if it's anything like the first video I made. I actually tried finishing that map but I lost it like a few years ago I actually lost all my maps like three times because my tablet keeps switching the, the place where the map saves are and I had this really nice map that I was working on that I almost got to finish but day after which was an update like I say update this was like two years ago which basically made so all the maps are gone. Although they're not fully gone. I just need to somehow figure out how to transfer the maps into one save. Because I have a lot of maps that are just gone. Which is sad. The difference with the Hueys is that they don't have door gunners. That's the only difference. The Apache doesn't shoot, obviously. Black Hawk, you know, all these don't have windows or anything. This is pretty cool looking. I think it costs gems or a lot of coins at least. 
It has the simple sandbox logo on it, as they say, empanage. I think that's French for tail. That's officially what this part, no, this part of an aircraft is. The tail, empanage, same thing. That's an I think it's like the middle of my 12 or something like that. And there's this thing which is real too, but I don't know its model. In the second game, it shoots in the back. There's this thing which is interesting. It makes noises when it flies. I always thought it sounded weird. But it's decently fast. So, yeah. And when you turn off. You can only spawn four vehicles in the multiplayer map, so that's why I'm doing all the vehicles. Next is the Soviet style F 16. That sounds like a. Kettle of some or tea or something like that, boiling or something. Very annoying. I'm glad they fixed the sound in the second game because it was just hard to listen to. And as you've seen so far, this map is incomplete and missing a lot of things. And I think my favorite, apart from that Soviet F 16, is this the black private jet. Sounds a little better. And it looks like it could be a real airplane, but I don't know what it is. And of course, I like black aircraft, so there is that. I had this city map on my old tablet in Simple Sandbox 1, which I called Piggy City, which is pretty cool. Oh, I never got to do multiplayer because um, there's a problem with my saves. That whenever I made a, a save map, everything would disappear once the player joins, which is really annoying. And so I never got to use any of my multiplayer maps in, or maps in multiplayer, so I just played single player. So no one ever got to see my Piggy City map. And it's on my old tablet, so I forgot what it looks like now. But if this video gets, hmm, I don't know, I want to be ambitious, ambitious, but only sort of, maybe, maybe 300 views within six months. Yeah, 300 views within six months. I will make a piggy city map in Civil Sandbox 2 in this very map. Yeah. And if I ever get to 300 views within 6 months and I don't notice, just comment and I will check it and then I'll start building if that's the case. This is why I call it Blue Angels Jet, which I think is like a, I want to say like a Nor Northrop F9F Panther. In real life, costs a good amount of coins, so fairly inexpensive to get. Oh crap. Um There's this which kind I call like a nice I guess private helicopter cuz it's kind of expensive to get. So when some people had it and of course the hackers have everything so there's that. There's an admin hacker whatever you want to call it police car which is Lamborghini which comes with the VIP pack in the second game. Oof. And there's also a devil skin. Which is different from the one in the second game. And I think they can also, um, they're in vulnerable, immortal, whatever you want to call it. Same thing. And I think their cars are too. 
So I got this hack once and it did that. It was pretty nice, but it got tired so after a while, so I deleted it. Not to mention, it could have been malicious. Full of malware. Now I'm going to check out Desert City. I'll take a quick look at all these maps. This is never a popular map that everyone played in. And by the way, that's the video rental store. Yeah, this is never one of my favorite maps in this game. Lots of PvP battles in all these buildings in the military base. Once I built IKEA in this map, which is all the way where those building little buildings are, so I'll second go. Uh, not quite here, but all the way over there. Yeah, it was nice actually. Yeah, she will never actually in simple sandbox too. Hmm. Another thing is like the the prop limit is like seven hundred and fifty. So even less than simple sandbox too at nine hundred and ninety eight or nine ninety seven depends. Another popular map was Islands, which was like this. And as you, if, I don't know if you saw them, but there's boats, which are the only time in this game you had boats. Unless if you hacked it. But otherwise, no one had boats, except for this map. And there's an island out there. I think I once built like a crashed airplane, I think. Yeah, there's a big island right there. Oh, I can turn the... That's cool. There's a random boat, which I don't even know. Oh yeah, and I built a submarine here once too. And I built like a little country map, like... Uh, over there. Those, yeah, that was cool. Alright, another one... That was pretty good, was good map. Basically the same as in the second game, but no airport. And Mars is pretty cool. Even has the gravity. Although it's more like moon gravity, if I'm gonna be honest. And there's Sand Train, which I did sometimes. Not really a lot too, except for this train station. And the road that just goes to end the map. Not that big. I think you can also glitch yourself in a few of these buildings, but really not that interesting. And of course, this is just a sand map with that gray square. Nothing special. And here's Space Station, which is kind of weird. Especially with all these things floating in there. And there's this mission control building, which is actually pretty cool. But of course, because it's part of the map, you couldn't interact with anything. Wait, what is that? Oh yeah, that's the ISS. Alright, I forgot. Yeah, other than that, it's kind of a... Boring map. The Samurai map was like very obscure and like barely anyone played it. And Egypt, really just same sort of, well, it's different. The one in Middle Ages is better actually. But a fun map was underground because it had this little, I guess, town. Well, wow, very little. And. But you're like, what? This map sucks. Well, I wouldn't say that yet. There's something interesting below the map. Well, that was kind of a cool drift.
it was all this was also in Smash, so it's very easy to kind of like glitch yourself in the walls, although there's nothing there. So you gotta put like a, a plank suit or, or platform so you don't fall down. It was very kind of fun to kill people with snipers or whatever. These look like AI creations, the paintings to my right that I just passed. And here's this very kind of mediocre looking train. The cool thing about it was it's kind of glitched here so you can do this. Yeah, look at that. And there's really not much else. It's just like tunnels which end up back here. The port map is very, excuse me, port map is very boring. Racer map, just racing. Big house is kind of cool, actually. Yeah, and airport, nothing special about airport. Snow map, oh, actually, I'll get snow map in a minute. But big house is actually kind of cool. I never, I never knew the story behind this house. Okay, you can go in the attic and... Oh, fine. I'll just have to do it myself. This was kind of a cool map for as big inside, but it's really more big going up. Like it's kind of a small map lengthwise, length width, but height was a pretty big map. It was kind of fun. I mean, it could be fun for hide and seek. I don't know if I actually ever did that or not, but this will be the map to do it. I mean, these graphics aren't very good, but who cares? There's these 3D cows which moved. Other than that, there's really nothing here. Now, you might think that snow map sucks, but in reality, it almost sucks. There's one cool thing about it. Not sure why there's a pinata in the Christmas fiend map, but here we are. The wind blowing is kind of cool. Oh, I even hear birds. That's pretty cool. Anyway, um, so, ooh, what's this? Just a regular well. Why so deep? Deep. Mm. Well, that makes it interesting. It's a mine. But yeah, this is basically the whole map. Another map that I kind of did sometimes was Snow Mountains, which was kind of cool for like Arctic. And I think you can glitch yourself underneath the ice, but it was kind of hard to. Oh, it's weird. Fire jet looks blue. I remember having this really awesome like Moscow map, like Red Square. I, I didn't build it, but someone gave it to me. It was really awesome. And it was in this map. Wow. How many memories? I 
had noticed this fire jet being kind of bluish before in this map. I think the money system is broken in this game, so you probably can't buy anything anymore. By the way, this is called a gravity gun, if you ever wondered. They don't mean gravy, it's called a gravity. Although, I've always wondered what this is originally from. It's got to be from somewhere. And there's AWP. This was a cool gun, but I never got it because it was kind of expensive. That's cool. I always call this one like the Soviet gun because I mean, look at it. Oh, yes, the cases. I accidentally lagged the, the um, game, so I had to restart. But it's really a scam. I still, I still don't even have the Hummer. Huh, that's cool. I didn't know they had this. Looks like a MiG-29 sort of F-16. Well, there you have it. Kamov KA-22 and Kamov KA-50. I mean, that's not a KA-50. No, that can't be right. Yeah, in my 12. I know that's right. That's not a V18, that's a M28. I mean, no, it's really an Apache. That's a black hole, but look. There's no way that's that's not K50. Yeah, it might be K22, but that's not K50. This map, I mean, not map. This skin was kind of like only hackers or kind of rude people would have it. And you know what this skin is for. I think you know exactly what people did with that skin. Regular sheriff skin. Jeez, another one. Oof. The Elvis skin. Hmm. I think the skin is free in this one, in this one too. I mean, in this one, in the second game, it's crazy. For a while, this was kind of like a noob skin. In the Civil Sandbox too. Yeah, admin skin. Same guy, he just got tan. Yeah, that, that this is not mini, just for reference. Yeah, never got this, never. So hard to get. It's crazy. I wanted to get this, but I never did. Too late now. Micro car, Abtozak, and Trap.
Few more things to look at is Bunny Hop. If you touch the water, you die. I guess they punish you with ads even if you have VIP. That sucks. Oh crap. Oh my gosh. You know, I've never made it to the end, so I actually have no idea what it looks like at the end. I've gotten close, but I think it restarts you. I pause just in case there's never ad. No one wants to watch an ad. I shouldn't be getting ads since I paid for the VIP like uh, seven years ago or however long it's been. Actually, I think it's been five years ago since I paid for VIP. How big is this map? Uh, I literally jumped only once. I think the farthest I've ever gotten is like the other side of that wall there. Oh, shoot. Uh, see, and you can't build anything, so like I literally have no idea what's at the end of this map. If you know, feel free to comment, because I have no idea. Mm, this video is an hour long. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Wait, it goes on over there? Holy crap, how big is this map? Wow. This map's gotta be huge. Next, by the way, this is where he changed the time of day. Let's see, Bunny Hopper did that. Deathmatch, I'll get that in a minute. And roleplay, it's... Yeah, like fire engines and... I think taxes which they added to the second game. This is a cool map. And one time when I had like hacked it, I was able to RPG spam myself to get on top of these walls. And up there, even though it's pretty hard, and you literally cannot do it without it. That's an interesting looking vehicle they never added. And look at that minigun turret, that's pretty cool looking. Basically, the only thing special about the roleplay is is the um, fire trucks. That's it. And I think that's taxis, or I don't even know what it is. I just remember the fire trucks being special. And I think you can do missions to get money, but... Basically the same as the role play in the second game with the taxi. Probably should have taken advantage of this basically free money. Instead of watching the ads.
Well, anyway, let's see if it saves it. It does not. But yeah, it just about does it for this video. Thank you for staying this long. I know it's been long. Damn. Like an hour. I might trim it down a little bit so it's not an hour, but... But yeah, thank you for watching, and be sure to watch the other video I'm going to make about the radio. So I don't get demonetized, like I did in some other video I made in the Simple Sandbox one.